Hello everybody, it's me Ember. In this video I will be showing you how to get Snake in Monsters of Etheria. Now this is one of the hardest monsters to get. Like it takes a really long time, which is why I saved it uh, to be one of the last. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to start a quest that's over in the Phoenix Gaze Village. So you're basically going to just hop through this tundra here, like this tundra area, and then go boom, boom. Okay, just all the way through because it's a kind of fast way to get there. Of course, you're probably not as fast as I am. Uh, so just kind of try and keep up. Of course, you can always pause the video or just play it slower if you need to. Oh my gosh, there's the avian beam when I don't need it. Oh my gosh. Anyway, just go through here. All the way down into the village. And we're just going to like come over here. And then around through here. And boom, you're in Phoenix Gates Village. Now what you actually want to do is you're going to want to go to this church right here and talk to the guy all the way at the end over here. Okay, hello wanderer, welcome to the gathering of the followers of the speed demon. Call me Scythe, are you here to join us? Yes. Wonderful, join us, you must complete three tasks. First, I ask for ten cactus flowers and a vile venom. Okay. Now, the vile venom, I'm going to show you really quick, is... The one that you can get without needing a water move. The other one you need a water move for, but this one you don't. I always, like, get stuck on finding my way out. Okay, so you're just going to exit the village again. Yes, over here. And just kind of make your way through until you're out. Okay. And then come down here. I never really go through this way. But I can. Sort of. I'm not good at the slower part of the winding corridor. Because I never go in the slower part of the winding corridor. Winding corridor. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I've been doing these videos all day. Like, I'm almost done. But still, it's taking a while. Okay. Now that you're out, you're going to want to go back to, like, the starting town. Uh, basically... Just go back to the town that we first started in. Actually, no, right here is fine. So, go right here. And basically, you're going to want to look for a vial by searching all these barrels. There's also several barrels in the town, which is great. Okay, and the cheese quarters are also great. You need both of them. So just look and get all the cheese quarters and barrels you could possibly get. You will need them for this quest. Well, mostly cheese quarters. Make sure you have one vial, but get eight cheese quarters. And while we're here, I'm going to show you that you're going to want to open this. And once you get enough cheese quarters, you want to have a total of two cheese wheels. So you'll craft... Oh, okay. So yeah, craft the cheese halves. Okay. So you want four cheese halves, so that way you can make two cheese wheels. So yeah, this button right down here, this is how you craft. And you can find the cheese stuff in these barrels here. And you can also find the vials there. Okay, once you have the vial, you're going to go out through here, all the way to Whistleboro Cave. I'm sorry if I'm like trying to speed this up a bit. I don't have too much time to record this one video, and there's a lot to do. Okay, so now you're going to want to come into this cave here, and all the way down through here. Do-do-do. Where there is this lab right here. So you're gonna go into the lab and just come through. Now this is a little bit of a maze, so make sure that you're following the same paths I do. Again, pause as necessary. You are allowed to pause this video. Okay. Um, so you're not going to do what I did and get stuck in there. But you are going to go over here into this last door. The door in the very back of the room. Okay, now you want to go straight. And then you're just going to follow this path all the way, because this is a pretty straightforward path after you make the decision to go straight. It's going to take you into like this office area, which we will approach shortly. Okay, now that we're here, we're going to go into this area right here. And you're just going to go straight. And then you're going to make a left. Because to go to the portal room, you go right. So this one, you go left. So you can go all the way through here and over here. And right over here. And now that you're here, there's going to be like this purple venom stuff on the floor. So you're going to examine that and collect that in a speed vial. I mean, in a vial, and then you get a vial venom. 
Okay. Now you want to get a monster that knows a water move, so like Ribbomb. Ribbomb does, in fact, know a water move and knows bubble, and Ribbomb's great because everyone gets it from the start. So once you go into Ribbomb, you're going to go all the way over to the desert. And I say all the way over, but it's like not too bad. I'm kind of going the wrong way to get there fast, but that's fine. I just wish I had more time to record this. I mean, 30 minutes is enough. I don't know why I'm freaking out about that. 30 minutes is fine. Okay. So we're just gonna hop on over there. And you kind of just want to follow the river there if you don't already know how to get there. But I'm sure that if you're looking for how to get Snick, I think that you know this map well enough to know where the desert is. I don't know, that might just be a bold assumption, but I think that you guys probably know where it is. Yeah, just keep going forward and you will find these cacti. Uh, hopefully these people won't kill me. Uh, actually, it's fine. I could probably just kill them. But basically, you're going to use a water move on some cacti, like that. And soon enough, these cactus flowers will grow. Um, okay, and then you can harvest them. And you're going to need 10 of those. Okay, I don't know how many you got there, but it doesn't really matter because we also have uh, cactus flowers on this one. Okay, there you go. Once you have the cactus flowers, you're going to want to return to the guy who gave you the quest. So you're just going to go back over that way. Doop the doop. All the way back. All the way back. I mean, you could just, um, actually what I'm going to do. Never mind, I'm not going to. No, I showed you how to go there the first time. You guys know how to get there. I'm just going to go ahead and become Umbris so that way I get there quicker. And also I like Umbris, it's my favorite monster. So any excuse to use it is great, even if he's a little slow. Okay, so just return to this guy over here. And so go ahead and give him the stuff. Fantastic, we believe the speed demon is attracted to the scent of death and may be able to reverse it. This will certainly help with our work. Thank you, Wander. Okay, so this is not the end of it. You're going to talk to him again. Hello again. Your entry has yet to be completed. We need to amplify our presence. Collect 15 bones and a skull for the cause. Now, in order to do that, you're actually going to have to kill people. I already got a skull in um, the Warzard episode. So if you want to see how to get a skull, do that. But we still need, uh, we still need some more bones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch into my Faraville because it is the monster that I have best suited for combat. And because I always- oh, I just damaged myself. Because I always feel bad for, like, um, killing people out in the world, I always challenge everybody to a private match. And we're just going to do that to get all of the skulls that we need, if people accept. If not, then we'll have to be mean and, I mean, not skulls, you only need one skull, but bones. Um, if people don't want to accept, then yeah, we'll just have to be mean and kill people out in the world, and I don't like doing that. So we're just going to hope that people are going to accept our challenge. Okay, somebody accepted our challenge. Great. That is just what we wanted. And now, we can go ahead and fight this guy. They are... Okay, one of the bot dudes. Okay, that was pretty easy. We killed him, no problem. We won that match, so now we get a bone, I believe. Yes, one bone. So one bone for every person that you kill, so you need to kill a total of 13 people. And again, I like to do it in private matches, so that way people don't get mad. It's like they're the one that accepted the match. So they're agreeing to the fact that that might happen. It's just I feel bad for killing people. Like, if it's unnecessary, like, if they didn't provoke me, then I don't like killing them, because I have no reason to. Even though that, like, this is a PvP server, and I shouldn't feel bad for it, because they're the one who went into a PvP server. But if they're like me, they went into a PvP server in order to, like, level up and not to fight people. It's kind of weird. Oh, somebody challenged me, so let's fight them again. Okay, we're going to teleport there, and, okay, 
They're right there. Okay, so they dodged that. Uh, that's... Oh, okay, they got us, like, immediately. Huh, that was nice. That was a good match. Okay, let me mutate again. And... Boom, boom, boom. Challenge everybody. Spam that mouse button. Uh, not X again, I guess. Because the game doesn't want to let me. I actually hadn't seen the evolution of that one again. I forgot what its name was. Minart. I haven't seen the mutation, I mean, of a lot of these guys, so I don't actually know what they look like. Okay, somebody else accepted our challenge. Okay. And we... Okay, we can hypnosis them because they're kind of slow. Oh, they dodged it. Okay, let's go over. Boom. Thankfully, we're pretty fast. Boom. Oh, that hurt. Okay, we lost that one. So basically, don't get stuck in a nightshade or earthquake with uh, the tankier dudes. Okay, I'm learning a little bit. Okay, let me just re-challenge everyone I can. Okay, go back. Oh. Okay, somebody else accepted our challenge. Okay, let's go in and try to hypnosis them maybe. Oh, I think we're burned. Okay, this might be a little hard. That's the hard thing about uh, the challenges. Because like, if you fight them like that, then chances are... Um, I kind of like blanks from. Oh, if you fight them like that, chances are they're already going to be like sort of competitively suited. Okay, so we only need to kill two more people now. We're going to challenge everyone to battle again. Everyone. Even the people who are probably going to kill me. Okay, everyone has been challenged again. Now we'll just have to see who accepts. Okay. So we're going to wait a little bit. Kind of go around. Um, okay, so we're going to fight the same person again. And... Okay, this time that there's something different. Okay, we're going to hypnosis you. Okay, I don't think that hit. Okay. So ice punch, and we're going to kind of avoid your attacks for a bit. Earthquake. Okay, we both decide earthquake there. Mine was definitely stronger. Ice punch. Boom. Oh, okay. But they also used a melee attack, so I fainted there. But that's fine. Because this is a PvP game and it is a match, so it is always good to like let other people win too. Okay. So let's challenge everyone again. Okay, there's some people who it's not letting me challenge. I don't know exactly why that is. Okay, clobber that Kirby. Okay. So it's this person again. I'm gonna go ahead and Okay, miss the hypnosis. Okay, they're gonna bullet seed. Okay. So let's see if I can like oh, are you okay? Let's see if I can evade them for a bit. Okay. Oh, I died. Okay, that's fine. I'll figure that part of it out eventually. Oh, I forgot to um mutate. Okay. Cobra at Kirby again. Okay, they're probably gonna have the same dude. Okay, can I Hypnosis? Okay, for some reason hypnosis doesn't work on some people. Okay, we're gonna avoid your bullet seed and I'm gonna go straight in. Okay. You're, like, really tanky. Can I hypnosis again? Okay. Avoid that. Kind of go in and maybe bait their earthquake. Okay, they're gonna bullet seed again. Bait's earthquake. Okay. I baited the earthquake, but it didn't quite work. Okay, let's not fight Cobra at Kirby because we are not gonna win. So let's try to fight everyone else. Okay, you, you, skip you, guys. Uh, fight all the people I haven't before. 
Oh, I didn't mean X. But hey, if he wants to rematch me, that's cool. I'm probably not gonna win. Might as well try. And then of course I could always like go to another server too and just see the other people I could fight. Okay. I don't think any of them are gonna accept my challenge. And again, if I see anyone who's unfortunate enough to be here this episode, then uh, they're gonna die. Like this person. Okay, I missed. They're kind of fast. Where'd they go? Okay, I'm sorry, Amy. Amy Row 6. Uh, you were just unfortunate enough to be here this episode. Okay. Why'd you run into that? Anyway, I think that that's enough bones. Okay, yes, we now have enough bones and we have another skull. And you get the skull in the same way you get the bones, you just kill a bunch of people. Uh, yay, there's my amethyst slide. I put that up earlier. Okay, I was just checking the time. You really don't have that much time. Okay. Uh, now we are going to go back to this other guy all the way over here. All the way back. I should probably just go into Umbris. I'm gonna go into Umbris. And I'm sorry for everyone I've killed this episode that didn't agree to be in a private match. Uh, if you were outside of a private match and I killed you, I'm sorry. Like, I am very truly sorry. You did not deserve it. I just needed bones. Okay, so once you have enough bones, you're gonna come back over to the sky. Okay, I need- oh, 15 bones. Oh, that sucks. Well, I am sorry to even more people then. Okay, back into Mudstorm. And we are going to kill some more unfortunate people. Man, that sucks for everyone. I guess we need two more. I don't know why I thought 13. Because 13 is a more likable number on my part. So, ooh, you're lucky. Uh, also unlucky because I'm also going to kill you like right now. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, Ace Elementist. I have to for a quest. It's like actually necessary. Okay. That's the phytotype that just spawned, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. I had to make sure I couldn't see the thing. The beacon thing. Okay, looking for another unfortunate person. Hopefully we'll find one kind of over in that area that we were just in. Do do do. Look at me. Yeah, go back over here. And see if I could find another person. Who. I can... Well, who can be unfortunate enough to be my next victim? It really is unfortunate. I really do wish that... I didn't have to, like, kill people. But hey. It's all for the game. It's just a game. Just a game. And I've let several people kill me in the past. Well, I didn't let people. Okay, I'm about to end this here. Okay. Hey, I was gonna say you're the lucky survivor, but like, you kind of failed that. Okay, everyone's dead. <laughs> Do I feel bad? Yeah, kind of. So, yep, I just killed everyone. Ended that fight pretty quickly. And now we can go back with all the bones that we need. I'm checking time because I only have until 9 o'clock. Okay. You get to be uh, spared now. So now you get to go all the way back to the sky and give him the bones. Perfect, this church must reek with the Senate demise. I'm sure the speed demon will, react, uh, will reach us soon. I might just pause here and finish this episode tomorrow. I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I guess going down Briss isn't a bad idea for this next part, though. Because you do need a fire move. Okay, so back to the Church of the Speed Demon. All the way back. Okay. Greetings, Wanderer. One final step awaits before you can welcome you into the Order of the Speed Demon. Will you accept it? Yes. 
Fantastic wanderer, I ask for you to burn down a hundred trees. The sign of destruction will surely lure the speed demon out from hiding. So this is kind of self-explanatory. You just need to go outside and burn down a hundred trees. It takes some time, especially if like you miss your second target like that. Uh, just have... Why is it going all the way up there? It's kind of weird. Okay, I guess I'll just go into first person mode. Not like actual nice first person mode, just the first person mode that I can aim with. This is really weird. Okay. Let's use Ember like that. It sort of works. Hit that tree, great. So basically you're just going to sit here burning down trees. Um, because I don't have very much time, I'm going to pause that here. I'm going to burn down the rest of the trees off camera. Basically just again use fire moves on them. No problem. And then, yeah, I'll be back when I'm back. I'll see you then. Okay, so once you do that and burn down 100 trees, which is, again, really easy. All you have to do is just use a fire move on a bunch of trees. Huh. <laughs> Two titans appear just as I burn down trees. Anyway, after you burn down all those trees, you're going to want... I'm being a little slower now that I have time. You want to go back over here to Scythe and talk to him. Fantastic. Wonder, take this. Keep it close for it represents your entry into the Order of the Speed Demon. Welcome. Okay. So once you do that, you're going to talk to him again. Greetings, follower. The Order needs you for an important mission. Bring me two wheels of cheese. So remember like the barrels that we opened earlier and how we got cheese from that? Uh, you might have crafted it before. Again, you find them from barrels. That was earlier in this episode, if you don't remember, which like you should because, well, for me, it's another day. For you, it's a whole lot faster. So once you have all those cheese quarters, you're going to go here to this button over here with the pickaxe and hammer. And craft it into cheese halves. So you can craft all your cheese into cheese halves. Well, you only need uh, four cheese halves. And then you craft two cheese wheels. Uh, I believe I already have one just because I've crafted stuff in other episodes. Let's see. Okay, I have four cheese wheels. You only need two. So once you have your cheese wheels and you craft it like that... Oh, let me close that. Oh, don't mind me. Okay, you're going to talk to him again. Thank you, follower, for I was starving. My work affords me no time to rest. Okay, then you talk to him again. Wait, yeah, what? Follower, today I require you for an important mission. This mission may determine the fate of the order itself. Will you accept? Yes, you will accept. Follower, take this. It is a relic known as the Key of Sloth. Legend says that in ancient times, the spawn of the speed demon was found and taken. As those, sacred of, uh, as those scared of the speed demon are unsure of how to stop it, they took the egg and hid it in a place stuck in time. It is now on you to discover this place, follower. Take the key of salt and free the egg from its captivity. If a speed demon refuses to show up, then, we'll, then we shall raise our own. Okay, so now that you have the key, you're going to go back to the catacombs. Um, I'm on burst right now, so I'm a little bit slow, but that's fine because I'd rather... Let Umbris level up, then use level 100 monsters. Just that way I could prestige them. Also, it is a different day, so I'm on a completely different server. So, while no time has passed for you, like, at all, it has certainly been a whole another day for me. Um, and a kind of eventful day at, at that. It's 10.57, this is the first time I've even, like, been on my laptop. Anyway, so you're gonna go all the way through here. I mean, you could just jump down and take the faster way, but I'm going to go through here just so I get used to these quarters a little more. Because I think, okay, I wasn't actually going the right way, never mind. Okay, because I'm just not as good at navigating these, so I'm just kind of going around here so I get better at it. Because, of course, knowing these quarters is going to be just as helpful as knowing the way through, like, the lab like I do. Okay. So we're just going to go back down, all the way over to the cave, just like this. I know that watching me walk is, like, very enjoyable. And, of course, we're only level 55, so we're going to hope that nobody decides to just come up and kill me and interrupt. But even if they do, I can just spawn in something closer to here and it'll be fine. Okay, just walking through the desert, watching the sun rise, question mark. I don't know whether it's rising or setting. I think it's rising. I think that was just night. Or today, I don't know. It's okay, little rib bomb. We're not here to hurt you. We're just here to pass on through. Earlier we would have been there to hurt you, but it's all fine. We have what we need now. 
Mine. Okay, bears, I guess. Whatever. Hey, it's always nice to grab stuff on your way. Zoop. Just going through like that. Excuse me. Uh, okay, that person says hi, but I need to, like, get through here. Okay. So, again, when you're here, you're just gonna follow this path. And we are basically gonna go to the same office area that we were earlier. I would say hi to that guy if I go... Uh, if I was not recording, so I'm sorry, sir. Uh, I just happen to be recording right now, so I'm not going to say hi right now. Uh, but I'm going to say hi in the video, so hi. Okay, so now we're going to go back through here. You're just going to go straight all the way until you get to the office. So just keep going straight. Oh, and don't do that, preferably. Is that the second time I did this in this video? I think it might be. It's the second time I've done it in one of these videos. Okay. Anyway, just go into the back room again, and just keep going straight. Keep going straight. There's an Ignite Titan. Two legends, hi. I'm sorry to run into you, I was just trying to get through and I'm a little bit big. I'm a little bit big for these holes, I kind of face through the door a bit. But that's fine. I mean, clips through it. Okay, so just continuing. And you're gonna go this way. And just keep walking. And now we're actually going to go over here to the catacombs, which we have gone to a few times in this. And yeah, just go in here. And then you'll, I would say, wander through here, but it's not too difficult. I'm just going to take a right here, take a left here, and another right. Boom. And then there's this puzzle. So what you're going to do is you're going to go and do this. Oh, not use Ember on the puzzle. Uh, do the puzzle. Basically, you're just making this point connect to that point, kind of like this. Boom, boom. 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 Okay, now you're going to use the key in this. The door won't budge, use key of self to unlock, unlock. And now you can go into this room here. And get the snake egg. So, once you do that, you're going to go all the way back to safe. Scythe. Uh, I'm just going to respawn as Umbris because you know where it is at this point. Like, you've been there several times. So, we're just going to respawn and boom, basically fast travel there. Okay. Now, we're just going to go over here. There's another Umbris. Hello, buddy. Now, we'll go all the way back to here into this church area. The Ashen Church. And talk to this guy. Wonderful, you found it. Give the egg ample heat to make a hatch. I will trust you to raise the snake. So now that you have that, you're going to go to the town. And I'm actually going... Um, excuse me. You guys fighting. You guys can fight. I'm going to just, like, be on my way. I say as I miss the door. Okay, just going through here again. I'm sure you guys love this maze. I'm actually going to take this way because we're going to the town. So I can just cut across the volcano and through the snowy hills and glacial pass to get to the town again. And I don't have fly on the Sumbris. I do on my main account, but I don't usually teach moves on this account. I've only done it for Fairville. And... Um, Hey, you can get a Cyrocops here. But I've only done it for Faraville and Detonate because I needed Earthquake and some other good fighting moves for Faraville so I can get the Skulls and Bones and stuff and Self-Destruct on Detonate so I can get to Munstorm which evolves into Faraville. Anyway, we're just going to continue going over here and into the town right there. I'm going to apologize because our is kind of slow. So I'm sure that you got there a whole lot quicker than I did. But that's fine, because you could always skip forward in the video. I can't skip forward in real life. Okay, so now you're going to go over to the baker's corner and fuel the oven with coal. Which, you can get the coal from the quest earlier uh, in the cave. If you need help with that, you can check out the Rasper video, that's pretty much how you do it. Or the Oven video. But yeah, you do that and then you'll see that the egg begins to warm up. Um, I was stuck in there for a moment. 
I'm going to just be sitting here for a little bit, waiting for the egg to hatch. Just waiting. The egg starts to rock. Just waiting. So yeah, that's how you get Evelyn, which you need to get coal from, which you do by the Raspberry Quest, the coal in the Whistleboro Cave. Where she passed him enough, where you should know. Okay. Sun's coming from the egg. It's going to hatch soon. And... Snick. Okay, and that's how you get Snick. So now, whenever you go to your monster menu, you should find... That you can, in fact... Do, do, do. Spawn as Snick. And Snick actually spawns here in the swamp. And is one of the fastest monsters if like you mutate it properly. Like all the way. And are not level 5. Even at level 5 it's pretty fast. Like all things considering. It's almost as fast as like a normal person. So yeah, that is how you get Snick. If you need help getting any of the other monsters in the game, you can check out my channel. I have guides for getting every single one of the monsters. Even the ones that don't really seem like they need guides. I also have guides for getting the R coin too, so if you need that, you can check that out, except I think I did cover that in this, I don't know. No, I didn't cover that in this video. We went into the catacombs, but not far enough to get the coin. Anyway, that's the end of this video, so I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!